All right, guys, we're here at Grind City Brew Company. I'm here with Joseph, and he has a really unique car, also a really unique color. So, Joseph, what do you own? I own a 2004 BMW E46 M3 in a color. Phoenix yellow yeah. metallic. So, this, if you guys know me, I have an Austin yellow M3. This is the first generation of the uh, the thought process of having Austin yellow. This is the Phoenix yellow. Um, it's a beautiful color. Check it out real quick. And what's really notable about this is that my buddy behind the camera just bought one yesterday. Uh, it was more of a splur of the moment and more of a, a, a good buy because he's going to make it into a great track car. But we're not going to talk about that car. We're going to talk about his car today. So let's check it out. So when did you get this car? I got this car in 2015. 2015? Yeah. So you got it in 2015 and uh, what modifications have you done to it? Ah, everything. We've got, we can start with the engine. It's supercharged. A Active Auto, uh, Auto Works, a uh, Prima Plus kit that we intercooled and uh, we did a conversion of a direct port uh, methanol injection. We have TC Klein suspension um, uh, running on 600 pound springs all the way around. We have CPI headers uh, section 1. We have SCSA uh, section 3 exhaust. You got some carbon fiber in the front, right? We've got the carbon fiber lip, of course, with diffuser as well. Right. We have the CSL style trunk. We've got the uh, 355 millimeter um, big brake kit, six pistons fronts, four piston rears. And you were telling me earlier, you take this to the track, right? Yes, I did. Okay, and yeah. how do you how do you like it on the track? Man, it is awesome. It's a beast, right? It is awesome. Okay. Yeah. And have you done anything to the headlights? Are these OEM? Uh, they're OEMs. The only thing I did, I painted uh, the um, high beams uh, uh, with yellow just to get. It actually, looks, yellow, pretty uh, it actually looks pretty good. It actually looks pretty good. It looks clean. Um, but how long have you had this? Uh, five years. Five years, and yeah. it has it been an enjoyable car? Absolutely. Is this your so only BMW? On. Now I've actually got a regular E3, uh, E46 as well, 325. Okay. okay. I got a, an F30. Okay. Um, uh, 328 that the wife drives also. So there is a BMW community out here. It's not yep. all about pickup trucks and yep. muscle cars. It's all about, you know, diehard enthusiasts like this, right? And how did you hear about us? How did you hear about BMW Invasion? Uh, actually, a uh, couple of people on the um, on Instagrams uh, just private messaged me and said, "Hey, you gotta you gotta participate into this yeah, yeah, tomorrow." Yeah. I didn't hear about it, but here we are. Exactly. What did you think about the whole event? Uh, it's awesome. Uh, the drive was great. Uh, all the filming, you know, yeah. of course, whatever the tricks you guys do. Exactly. Uh, absolutely, is is great. We try to keep things very organized and try to make it, you know, because they're coming on their Saturday. They're coming on the Saturday to enjoy a good time and. Um, we want to provide the best time for you guys and for them. And I think everybody's has smiles or across their face. Um, I'll definitely get this video edited and you'll have more smiles when you see that again to relive that moment. But just check out the interior, check out the, what's underneath the hood. So, so go over with the mods. You see active auto work, right? Active auto work. Uh, air filter actually mounted into the back of the uh, blower. Uh, what we noticed that it picks up a lot of heat from the engine bay. Okay. So what I did actually, I fabricated this uh, uh, whole entire three and a half inch plumbing right here, just to get the filter to pick up from the uh, behind the bumper. Okay. Uh, which is not a whole lot of heat down there. Uh, we've act I've actually intercooled it as well. So all the fabrication, plumbing, and all that was done in my garage. Awesome. Awesome. Yeah. Uh, we went from a single port methanol injection to a six ports uh, direct injection. Um, that's pretty much about. Any any really. future plans for the car? Absolutely. There is actually one coming down this uh, winter. It's going to be a DCT retrofit um, transmission that is going to go in it. It's not very uh, common either with these cars. Uh, I've actually bought the transmission already. I bought the controller out of Eastern Europe. So hopefully this summer will, I mean, uh, this winter will have, you know, the DCT in there. Nice. Because right now the SMG is, it's an okay transmission, it's not the best. Yeah. But the DCT is by far a game-changing transmission. Absolutely. It's actually out an F80 as well. Yes. Yeah. Oh, even better. Yeah. Even better. But I definitely want to thank you for, you know, coming out to the event and showcasing your car briefly. Absolutely. I know there's probably so much more we can look at his car, but enjoy the B-roll of this car. And that's it, you know. Um, Joseph, thank you so much. Thank Absolutely. you so much. Thank you so much.